couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, welcome to a very special lesson. It's a special lesson because we're not gonna play anything, but we are going to learn the one secret to being a terrific musician. And if you apply this secret, then you're gonna be better than 80% or even 90% of musicians, not just guitar players, but musicians overall. It's a very, very simple secret, but it's deceptive. It's deceptively simple because not many people apply it. And it's too bad because it's really easy to apply and it's fun to apply. When I'm gonna tell you the secret, you're gonna raise an eyebrow and you're gonna say, what, that's it? What's he talking about? But I am gonna explain what I mean and I am gonna give you examples of real life musicians who apply it and you can tell that they apply it right away. The secret has nothing to do with technique or theoretical knowledge. It has nothing to do with practice. It has to do with enjoying music. It has to do with listening to as much music as possible. And that way you train your ear and that way you're open to musical ideas. Now, it sounds simple and it sounds silly, but it's not. Uh, what I mean is that most people, most musicians, confine themselves to one or two genres of music. Uh, for example, if you're a heavy metal player, you may like soft rock and some folk and maybe some blues, but you'll mainly focus on heavy metal because that's the music that you like. And if you're a jazz player, then you're gonna listen to a lot of jazz. And if you're a blues player, you're gonna listen to a lot of blues and transcribe a lot of blues solos and maybe some folk music and rock music, maybe some jazz music. But most people neglect the fact that you can learn from any genre of music any genre, including pop music. You can learn a lot from pop music. For example, uh, the genre that I personally learned the most music from is uh, TV theme music, um, opening sh tunes to TV shows, because y you have to be a genius to write those, because they have to work. If they don't work, the show flunks. You have to write a good opening. And you have to write really good music to do it. So, for example, that's a genre that most people overlook. I'm not saying that I'm special or anything, but I just like opening, sh opening tunes to TV shows. Uh, and if you listen, for example, to Tommy Emanuel, you'll see that the guy has influences from here to Timbuktu. Uh, the guy's playing is rich with influences from rock and jazz and country and blues and folk and gospel and Spanish music and Irish music. Irish music. Every time he plays one of his insane legato licks, his hammer-on, pull-off, pull-off, hammer-on, pull-off, pull-off licks, um, that's an Irish influence. If you listen to it, there's some Irish music in it. Uh, and you can tell that the guy really loves listening to music, and that's what makes him a better musician, because when he approaches his instrument, the guitar, and wants to compose a new song, he's got a wide variety. He casts a wide net of um, of influences and ideas, and he can apply them. And that's why none of his uh, songs and composition uh, sounds the same. I think my S went from one word to another there, um, syntax-wise. Um, that's why he's so brilliant. And also Keith Jarrett. You can hear in Keith Jarrett's playing that um, he doesn't just play jazz. He plays classical music as well. And he plays rock music. And he plays blues music and gospel music and some country music. He also, he even has a composition called Country. And um, let's see, uh, Victor Wooden, the bass player. You can hear all sorts of influences. That's why he can come up with that many, uh, that huge amount of complex rhythms because he's well-versed in music. He doesn't confine himself to listening to bass music, to jazz music or funk music. He listens to a wide variety of music, I can guarantee it. And uh, one genre, that's another tip, one last tip before we go. One genre that most people completely overlook 
is pop music because most people uh, condescend and think that pop music is silly music. And in most cases it is. In most cases they're right. But there are some pop songs that are insanely creative. And if you learn them and you try to see what they did there to compose the song, for example, Baby One More Time by Britney Spears. It has the same chord progression throughout but it has three different melodies with three different rhythmic patterns upon the same chord progression. That's very, very creative. You can learn a lot from that. And also Chandelier by Sia. Uh, when was the last time you've heard a song with four different parts? Uh, it's got a verse, it's got an opening, it's got a verse, it's got a pre-chorus, it's got a chorus, and it's also got a post-chorus if you think about it. So it's, it might be five parts. That's a complex song. You can learn a lot from it. So don't disregard and don't discard pop music just because it's pop music. You can learn a lot from it. So what I'm basically saying is don't confine yourself to one or two musical genres. Listen to Spanish music and classical music and Irish music. Uh, for example, um, one singer that I like is Lorena McKennett. And her music is very, very simple and very, very repetitive, but it's something different. Okay, it's something different. And also the chords and Enya, they compose brilliant stuff. And also Vangelis and um, Jean-Michel Jarre. Okay, don't confine yourself to one instrument. If you're a guitar player, listen to saxophone music, listen to piano music, listen to uh, percussion music, Indian percussion music, listen to sitar music. You won't believe how better you'll be within one year, even three months of listening to a wide variety of music. Okay, I hope I drove the point home uh, and I'm not going to bother you with saying it one more time. Well, actually I will. Don't confine yourself. Listen to a lot of music, as much music as you can. Experiment. Try to find new bands that you don't even know what they play. Just click something on YouTube and listen to it. You might surprise yourself and find a new, uh, a new favorite band. That's all. That's the secret. So you go and apply it and find a band, a new band or singer to listen to today and just start listening to new music. You'll open your horizons to so much inspiration that you won't believe. I'm Asaf Levavi, and I'll see you the next lesson. Bye for now.